Stephen Paul Jobs was born on February 24, 1955, in San Francisco, California. His unwed biological parents, Joanne Schiebel and Abdul Fattah Jandali, put him up for adoption. Steve was adopted by Paul and Clara Jobs, a lower middle class couple who moved to the suburban city of Mountain View a couple of years later. The Santa Clara County, south of the Bay Area, became known as Silicon Valley in the early 1950s after the sprouting of myriads of semiconductor companies in the area. As a result, young Steve Jobs grew up in a neighborhood filled with engineers working on electronics and other gizmos in their garages on weekends. This shaped his interest in the field as he grew up. At age 13, he met one of the most important persons in his life, 18-year-old Stepan Wozniak, an electronics wits kid and an incorrigible prankster much like Steve himself. Business wasn't all sunshine and roses at Apple. In the decade following Steve's departure, the computer maker had milked all the cash it could from the Macintosh and its successors, surfing on the wave of the desktop publishing revolution that the Mac and the laser printer had made possible. But in 1995, after Microsoft had released Windows 95, which was a pale but working copy of the Mac OS GUI, sales of Macintosh computers started plummeting. A new CEO, Gil Emilio, arrived in early 1996 to save the company. He cut costs, got rid of a third of the workforce, and decided that instead of writing a new modern operating system from scratch to compete with Windows, it was better for Apple to acquire one. Eventually, Amelio chose to buy Next Step, Next's operating system, and agreed to buy the company for $400 million, roughly equivalent to $670 million today. The deal was made in December 1996. Stevie Jobs was back at the company he had founded. The Emilio Jobs cooperation didn't last long, though. Apple lost $700 million in the first quarter of 1997, and the board decided to get rid of its CEO. Jobs effectively organized a board coup with the complicity of his billionaire friend, Larry Ellison, and after a tenure that lasted exactly 500 days, Emilio was gone. In August 1997, Jobs took the stage at McWorld Boston to explain his plan for Apple. He had gotten rid of the old board of directors and made a deal with Microsoft to settle patent disputes and invest $150 million in the struggling Silicon Valley icon. One month later, on September 16, 1997, Jobs accepted to become Apple's interim CEO.